I wanted to smile again. I wanted to be confident. And, you know, I spent probably two or three years before I came here not smiling, you know, because I, I lost that confidence. You know, there were a lot of things that, that, I, that I loved to eat that I couldn't eat. So I was just telling Dr. Rich today that, you know, one of the things I love are fall apples and I've never been able to bite into an apple in a number of years now, but I did it last week and it was delicious. So I'm glad about, you know, all the things now. I don't have to be so picky. I can pretty much, much eat whatever I want. I, again, I, I told Dr. Rich today, someone said to me, you have the most beautiful smile. No one's ever said that to me. I was like, really? <laughs> Do you find yourself smiling more? Oh, absolutely. I smile a lot now. Just as an aside, you know, I, I know, you know, the COVID years were very, very hard for people, but you know, I kind of liked it because I wore a mask and I didn't have to smile. And now, you know, I see people wearing masks and that would have been me if I didn't have this treatment done. I would have went back to the mask. So it's made a big difference for yeah. you. That's incredible. I know you said that with work and everything, you do a lot of presentations, mm -hmm. you're on Zoom a lot. Mm -hmm. How has that been different for you now? Oh, well, it's been, I mean, we really started using Zoom, I think as a, you know, in the workplace more when COVID started. So, you know, of course, even when you did Zoom, you wore masks. I feel much more confident now doing presentations, you know, and standing up in, in front of people. And I just, it, my level of confidence has just increased substantially. I feel so different. Yeah. You come in to kind of get your yeah. smile fixed and yeah. you don't realize the effect it can right. have. And that's a huge part that a lot mm -hmm. of people don't know mm -hmm. until they've gone through it. How was your process from start to finish when we first came in yeah. to all the steps along the way? So I started in March of 2023 and I just said, I have to do something. Someone had told me about this practice and said, they're really wonderful people there. So I made the call. And I don't remember the, the woman's name who answered the phone, but of course I called and I started to cry. I said, I have to tell you my story. I'm, I'm embarrassed. I don't want to come in. From the first encounter I had, everyone here has been phenomenal. I've spent my career in healthcare, so I'm very inquisitive. I ask a lot of questions. If something doesn't feel right, I would call here. And I, I, I think I talked to everybody that, work, that works in this office. You know, they were so gracious and so helpful and come on in, we'll check it out. We'll make sure that everything is okay. It, it was just an unbelievable experience. I just said to Dr. Rich, what do you mean I don't have to come back for two years? These are like my family now. <laughs> so um, it, it's been a, a long process. Um, and I, you know, I got a little antsy in the summer because it seemed like, well, this is like taking forever. But I understand it now. And again, everybody was, you know, the whole staff was there every step of the way. If you met someone mm -hmm. that needed treatment like this and they were yeah. interested in it, what's yeah. something you would say to them? I would say I know it's a very hard decision and I know um, that it's something that costs a lot of money. I mean, we might as well be honest about that. But when I think back to the amount of money that I spent on my dental hygiene and got no results, to me it was well worth it. You know, it was, it was well worth it. It is an investment. But it, it, it's an investment, I think, that can really change somebody's life. You know, your smile is your first thing that you see, right? Yeah, So it definitely is. That's what I would say to people. It's an investment, but to me, it's, it was worth every penny.